So we had a session organized by the Commis, uh, Mohamed Moti, on, uh, on the pre-malignant stage of myeloma from, uh, from the monoclonal gammopathy, which is clonal but not cancer, to very early cancer development, smoldering, and the discussion around, uh, around uh, can we identify patient MGUS versus smoldering? Because we are in the verge of potentially treating smoldering. Um, there are questions around, uh, once you have defined the smoldering, you have identified the smoldering, and potentially you have treated the smoldering, uh, did you really change the picture of the disease? Or you just treated earlier patients, avoiding handicaps, sequelae, and complications? And then the question of uh, if we know some MGUS will ultimately, systematically, obviously develop a cancer in a matter of time, shouldn't we better define this patient at MGUS stage and get rid of this patient? Which is a concept of the polype in the colonoscopy colon cancer. Uh, many patients have a polype. The polype is no cancer. It's benign, but they get rid of it because it might become cancer. Or melanoma, where you have a, a skin lesion, which is no melanoma, but you're going to get rid of it, so it won't become a melanoma. So should we wait the melanoma to start and get rid of it very early on, or should we get rid of the lesion before? It's easy on the skin. I don't know if it's easy on the skin. I'm no dermatologist, but it looks easy to me on the skin because, because you're going to live with a scar on the skin, which is maybe no big deal. Uh, for, the mel for myeloma, it's much more complex because if you treat at MGUS level at some point to avoid the development of myeloma, for the 100% of patients you know they will develop myeloma, you never know, you know what you're going to do is good, but you never know if you may impact something negatively and in, in years later you will figure out uh, that you did something wrong. So it's very, very difficult. So right now we are at a stage where we discuss better identifying the MGUS that will take 40 years to develop, so we don't need to intervene. And maybe the MGUS that will take less than 10 years to develop, and we need to identify these patients, at least to identify the patient. But yeah, maybe one day, because we might intervene at some point. <laughs>